Hey Buns, well it is time for yet another Loot Cave Co. unboxing video. I have no idea what is inside this box. Uh, they were very kind to send me another one. I'm guessing probably Shadowbringer stuff, um, but I like to open it for the first time on camera so we can have the journey of discovery together. And I will now open this box as safely and quickly as I can. By the way, you can use the code ZEPLA20 at checkout to get 20% off your order. Okay, so uh, let's open it. Ooh. Okay. I've learned you're supposed to put the blade away from your your body. I don't want to... Oh, I hope it didn't... Okay. There's less tape on it this time, I feel. It's like they know. Uh, they need to minimize the time that, I, that I'm that i using the knife after seeing the previous videos. <laughs> I actually have an electric knife that I thought about using for memes. Um, but, like, I, I will literally lose a finger. I open the... This right here. There are things in the box. <laughs> there are some things. There, I see some colors. Okay, so the first thing is... <gasps> Okay, okay, so some of you may know that I've switched to Dancer. Dancer is my new main in Shadowbringers. And I have, uh, the first thing that I've taken from the box are these very cute, very cute, uh, square gray Dancer earrings. I love the Dancer symbol. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, I think that the Dancer symbol looks like a Viera booty. That was the first thing I thought when I saw it. In general, uh, I tend to prefer more colorful jewelry, uh, especially for dancer stuff, because dancer is such a colorful job, so it's kind of weird. Not, I'm not sure about the gray uh, color on that. I try to be as honest as I can in these, uh, in these little unboxings. I give you, that's what it's about. I'm, that's why we're opening it for the first time together. Okay, ooh, yeah. It's more dancer goodies. I, I wonder if, I see a lot of pink in this box, so I wonder if I have just received dancer goodies. That's fine with me. Uh, so this is a dancer pin. This is awesome because it's a pretty good little mini replica of the dancer um, job stone. It has sort of this, kind of reminds me of one of those Himalayan pink salt rocks, you know? Uh, I really gotta, I need to find a thing that I can put the, the pins on. Right now I'm just gonna stab myself with them. <laughs> okay. I love this. Uh, I mean, I love the design of the dancer icon, as I said, and the dancer uh, job stone too. Okay, so here is a similar, it's a similar uh, thing to what I just pulled. So this is the pin version, and this is the beautiful beautiful necklace. I can't unsee the salt rock. What is up? What is up with those pink salt rocks anyway? Why are they pink like that? It actually kind of matches my shirt, my bunny shirt today. It kind of gives my bunny like a dancer third eye. It's very cute. I love it. Himalayan salt contains trace amounts of iron oxide rust, which gives it a pink color. What? So apparently, one of the benefits, in giant quotes, of pink salt, pink Himalayan salt, is it can increase your libido. You know, they say that salt does make you thirsty, so that's... <laughs> anyway, back to, the, back to the unboxing. It was, it was kind of relevant, because the, the pink reminds me of that. Okay, so here is a... Uh, I've, I've had, I've seen in the past, um, I think I have the black mage one, I think I have the blue mage one, that is designed this way. This is one of the types of, um, necklaces that they sell at Loot Cave Co. Basically, it's got, like, the meteor symbol and your job, <laughs> the job stone of your choice embedded there inside of it. I think it's a really cool thing that just kind of, like, screams Final Fantasy. This is a Final Fantasy, uh, and also I, I've... I feel like in the case of the um of the dancer symbol, 
it's nice because I think pink and gray go together really well. It's like a nice little color combo. Um, eh. Though I, I feel like, too, people who don't play Final Fantasy XIV will have no idea, like, what what is the gray thing. What, and then you'll, you can explain it to them. And you can have a conversation. Oh, this is something new. No, I don't think I've seen this type of chain before. This is, oh, cool. Okay, this is awesome. So they actually used a different chain for the uh, Gunbreaker necklace. And it just, it feels right. Because first of all, it's more gold. So it looks better with the uh, yellow jobstone. Something about it feels more robust, like more rugged, I guess. Depending on how it's it's hitting the light, it's a little bit hard to see the logo on this particular stone. Uh, I feel like the color of the logo needs to be maybe a little bit different. It looks edible. It looks like a little, <laughs> it looks kind of like a lemon drop. Do not eat this. Do not eat that. This is not food. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. So I've gotten sparkly, sparkly, glittery things from Lude Cave before, and I was kind of like secretly hoping that they would send me some glittery dancer stuff, and they totally did. Um, these are the earrings, and they are hecking gorgeous. I censored myself there because this is a professional video. They're be they're beautiful and and great. Um. They have these little flecks of, like, iridescent magic in them, and the surface is shimmery, and I love them so much. This is my favorite thing I've got so far, yes. This is the Gunbreaker Jobstone. It's so weirdly shaped, like, I kind of didn't realize how odd uh, the Gunbreaker symbol is compared to all the others. Uh, oh, wow, actually, I'm looking at this on the camera. And you can see the symbol really well on the camera. I guess something, I think it's just because I have so much lighting on me right now that like everything is washed out. Maybe I'm like, I'm, um, I'm blinded a little bit. But for, on the camera, I can see, yeah, you can see that. You can see the logo really easily. I, I wonder why it's shaped like that. So to be clear, this is how it is in game. This is an exact re replica of how the Gunbreaker thing is in game. It's not like they did a weird print or anything. Um, but it's like it has a normal edge. Uh, two normal corners, and then it melts a little bit. And it's like, God, one of the corners is like, <gasps> you know what it looks like? <laughs> it looks kind of like somebody, like a Hrothgar, because that's who made the, they're the inventors of Gunbreakers. Like, maybe they took a bite out of it. I mean, that's kind of, that's cat-like behavior. Like, they chew, they, they thought it was a lemon drop. Easy mistake to make. Like there was a there's a little little nibble before they realized, okay, this is not food. It's a very nice job stone, is what I is what I wanna say. Okay, so um rings. So they gave me a, a dancer ring and a gunbreaker ring. Okay, let's see. It's a little big. Y'all, it's a little big. It says it's a size eight, but it's I'm very difficult to fit uh with my ring size. I think if I shake it, like it's actually staying on pretty well, but with how much I'm shaking around and like f flailing, I feel like it might fall off. So I would, personally, I might need a smaller size. Other one is a seven. And yeah, that, that fits better, but I feel still feel like it's like a half size too big. I'm always between sizes. <laughs> I love dancer stuff. Give me all of the dancer things. I actually do play Gunbreaker too. Gunbreaker at 76. And um, I've been leveling it with all the other tanks. It's it's pretty fun. I don't like it as much as Dark Knight. But. Okay, so what we have here is a ah, keychain. It's a Gunbreaker keychain. It's got like these horizontal lines in the background. It gives it a really cool effect. However, I'm not crazy about the positioning of the logo on the on the keychain because it's like a little bit it's a little bit too far down. You see what I'm you see what I'm saying? Like it's almost like the the square needs to be big a little bigger 
so so that it can be perfectly in the center. <laughs> like I don't know if that's an OCD thing that I'm feeling. Um, but maybe you guys tell me what you think about that uh, in the comments. All right, so I think this is the last thing in the box. There's also air. <laughs> Uh, so this is the last thing in the box. This is the best thing that I've seen. Oh my god. Okay, so I said before that the earrings were my favorite. Um, but we got a new favorite because this is the amazing, giant, glittery dancer jobstone necklace. I really like the cord, especially for a big pendant like this because it's like it's a thick, thick <laughs> cord for a thick boy this one is more dainty like this one is probably better to wear with like a dress or something but this is like hey everybody guess what i'm a dancer main and <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna know about it like this is when you want this necklace to be the star of the show uh check it out let's talk about final fantasy 14 the thing is look with the with this one the smaller one, it's not glittery. <laughs> it's like how to make Zeppel like an item. Put glitter on it. That's that's literally it. <laughs> that's literally it. But I really love this. I, another reason I love this is like as a streamer, as a YouTuber, you will be able to see this really clearly whenever I'm streaming. Because usually when I'm streaming, you know, I'm in a small little 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 square hiding in the in the corner, and so you will still be able to see that. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. I actually really, really love it because I love Dancer. It's amazing. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> that concludes this particular Loot Cave Co. unboxing video. I want to remind y'all that you can use the code Zeppola20 at checkout to get 20% off your order. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks again to Loot Cave Co. for sponsoring this video and sending me cool stuff. I always appreciate it. And thank you. So I will talk to you later. Take care, everyone. Bye.